Hey everyone, Liam Motley here, and today I wanted to shoot a super quick tutorial for you showing you how to put your custom GPTs onto a website as a web chat widget in just a few minutes and without writing a single line of code. We all know that you can build powerful GPTs on the ChatGPT site, but at the end of the day, they are stuck there and you can't be putting them in places that are actually more valuable for your clients. So what I'm gonna show you today will open up a new set of solutions that you can sell, such as website customer support agents and website lead generation, or even appointment setters that you can put on your customers' websites. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible so let's get stuck into it so to start off you need to head to agentivehub.com which is my own SaaS. i've built this for you all to make it easier to do this exact thing which is take your custom gpts and put them onto whatsapp and websites etc and we don't charge you a dime the only thing you need to pay is the open ai usage cost when you are putting your custom gpts on agentive we are using the assistance api from open ai to allow us to interact with them programmatically so that you can actually put them different places without being stuck in the chat gpt site so that's how agentive works in order to get signed up you can go to the register button here i already have an account so i'm going to log in when you are signing up to Agentive, you will need to provide your own OpenAI API key so that we can programmatically create these agents for you and build them on top of the Assistance API for you. So that's how Agentive works. Once you're all signed up, you'll see the screen that looks a bit like this and we can get stuck into building your agents. So you can come down and click create a new agent. I'm gonna call this um, Solar Support. Helps you. Then I'm gonna select an API key, just the main one that I set up for my account. I want to use GPT-40 Mini for this agent. And now we are on our studio page, which should feel familiar to when you're building your own custom GPTs. We have a prompt that you need to provide, a knowledge base that you can turn on. We're gonna switch this on now. And we have a section for tools as well. We're not gonna use tools in this video. I'm just gonna show you how to create a custom knowledge base and connect that to your agent and put it on a website. So basically a, a basic customer support chatbot for a website. So to start that off, we can go to the knowledge base here. I'm going to create a new knowledge base. I'm gonna call this the Smiths Solar KB. Create that. Then I'm going to upload my file. In this case, I'm just gonna upload one, but you can upload multiple files each time. Upload that to the knowledge base. Now we've selected our Smith Solar KB. We're not going to use any tools for this for simplicity's sake. Then we just need to write a good prompt for our website customer support agent. And so to do this as fast as possible, what I like to use is my AI agent prompt writer tool here, which I'm gonna make available to you all for free. If you wanna get access to this, which I use and it uses all of the best practices from my agency, Morningside AI. Whenever we build AI agents, this is what we use. Um, this is gonna be available on my free school community. So you can sign up to that down below. There'll be a post for this particular video and it'll include all the resources to copy this exact same build that I'm doing. But on it, most importantly, will be this AI AI agent perfect prompt writer which you can take and use yourself for anything that you do so i'm just going to fill this out quickly get a prompt generated and pop it back into the editor there so i've quickly filled out all the fields on this now i can click run tool down the bottom i can click this formatted button here so i can get the raw text copy this over to agentive and paste it in now we have a uh, perfectly written prompt with a role a task specifics tools um, examples and everything's good to go so we can jump in here and give it a test um, what does your warranty cover And there you go, you can see we're getting answers from our knowledge base correctly. So now we can go on to the next stage, which is publishing it and putting it on our website. So click publish. Yes, I'm sure. Now we can go to deploy. Uh, website and now we get to customize our widget so the little bubble down the corner we want to customize that so it properly reflects the company's brand and also looks in line with the website as well so let's give it a widget name smith's solar assistant um, helping you with your solar questions let's choose a main hex color of like a dark gray i'm going to upload a logo here Everything you need to replicate this build, including the logo, the knowledge base file, the prompt, and also the AI agent perfect prompt generator tool will be available on my school community if you want to follow along. Now we can add a starting message. So in this case, I'll just keep it as how can I help you today? You'll see what that looks like in a second. And I think I'll put in some conversation starters like uh, warranty information location so these are what we call conversation starters and they'll be appearing at the bottom which can nudge people to interact with your chatbot in certain ways and basically guide the user behavior which is really handy then we have the widget size in this case you know what a regular size one looks like in the bottom right i'm going to go for large just to show you what that looks like we can turn off the agentive watermark which we don't want to do um, and we can auto load the widget on page load to increase the engagement so as soon as that person lands on the page it opens up and this creates more value for your clients that you sell these to because more people are going to be seeing it and interacting with the bot so once they've got every Thing lined up there we can preview our widget and here we have smith solar assistant i'd like to click on this conversation starter warranty information 
And there we go. We have our answers coming back from the knowledge base on our custom designed widget, which we can minimize and blow up like this. Now that we're happy with the look and feel and the functionality of it on the preview, we can then go to create deployment. And then we have the code snippet we need to go and put it on a website. And once we have this code snippet, we can copy this and put it on any of your client's websites. You can scroll down to the bottom, say in this example, this is just a dummy website I'm going to use to show you. If you scroll down to the bottom of any page that you want this to appear on, we can just paste it into the script section, paste it in there. See where it says script script and there's a whole bunch of other scripts. You want to put it down in this bottom area so it loads last. You want to save that and I can boot it up. We can see it in action on a live website. And there we have it. We have our Smith Solar Assistant. If I ask for the location, we're going to be getting our responses back live on the website. And we've got our handy little widget here all set up within just a few minutes. So that's been a quick tutorial on how to get your custom GPTs onto a website widget in a couple minutes using my free software agentive. This is completely free to use aside from your open AI API cost. So we give you the lowest cost possible for you to be able to come on here and build these and learn how to sell AI solutions to businesses, which is really everything that me and my team are trying to do for you all. So please take advantage of this. Use it as much as you can. This is really just scratching the surface of what's possible, but this is the key function of putting it onto the website. I will let you explore with the prompting and the tools and the knowledge bases yourself. If you want to watch another video that's more advanced, showing you how you can make this a lead generation agent that can capture lead information for businesses and save it to a CRM, I'll put that up here, which I've done recently. But aside from that, guys, that's all for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.